Hello and welcome back to Stanley Paradidable. Uh, we're back. We're back. Um, so I realized something that I was playing the old Stanley Paradidable, like the really old game that came out a long time ago. I know it looks pretty much the same, but this is the remastered version with more stuff in it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to this one. Uh, I try to do some different stuff than before. Try not to follow the same paths. Try not to do the same things. But uh, welcome to Stanley Paradable. So we're starting in the new game, the Ultimate Deluxe Edition. I was playing just the regular Stanley Parable, not realizing they redid it. All so, of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. So yeah, if the game looks newer, it's because it is newer. It's the it's the different one, so the graphics are different. Where are my damn coworkers? Why does no one turn off their fucking desktops? Not laptops, desktops. I called them laptops. These are desktops. Damn fucking desktops. Oh fuck. Oh, that's right, okay. Hey! Coworkers! Please! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, so here we go. The choice, right? So before, I just never fucking listened. I was a little shit, but also I did listen, and then I stopped being a listener and turned into a little shit. So I gotta kind of commit to one or the other. So I think... I think the narrator... Can eat a dick. That's what I think. I think this, this guy can eat it. The correct way to the meeting yeah, room. Fuck you, guy. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps fuck you. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Now you know what I'm gonna do. I'm a damn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave. I'm a fuck off. I'm gonna do my own damn thing. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, <laughs> just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. And slapping room. the fucking. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. No, seriously, we just said. I just. What? <laughs> fuck. Yeah, but fuck. Eager to get back to business. Back Stanley to business. took the first open door on his left. Fuck that door. Now, nah, fuck you. Fuck you, door. I do whatever the hell I want to do. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I'm a great employee. Damn, what the hell is this room all about? I'm the best fucking employee this goddamn place has ever seen. I don't even know what what kind of, what kind of business we do here, but whoa, this is a big ass fucking warehouse, dude. There's a big fucking warehouse. How do I jump? Oh, they disabled it. Ooh, I don't know. Um, penalty for misuse cargo lift. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. How are you gonna charge me if I die, huh? All right, we're not going to do that, though. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Shut up! I'm Shut not up! I'm your enemy. Really, I'm not. You are! I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Oh my god, wait, what's the what's the story behind this? Her? Who, who the hell is her? What are you trying to tell me, narrator? Did I, did I miss something? I kind of want to go that way, but we'll go this way. This I'll go is this it, way. Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Who's her? She's been waiting. Where? My... What the hell? Urgent. Employees should never under any circumstances... Where is she? My girl! My lover. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Yo, what the hell? Um. Oh. That's her, Stanley. Oh, my you God. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. My darling. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. My baby. My, my, I, I, I don't know if I'm ready to. Hang on, do I look good? How's my breast smell? Oh, my God. My breast smells smell like shit. All those damn cigarettes in the car. I'm so... As Stanley picked up the phone, oh. a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Uh. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. 
Stanley, did you just I, unplug the phone? <laughs> I'm, I'm no, sorry. It wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I stressed. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. I was Let's stressed. Double check. I'm sorry. I I got I I didn't know what to no, do. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to <laughs> one another. No. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. I was Not this close. The phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? I was so close None to my love. decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... What? No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. No. You're a real person. No! Oh, fuck. He's, he's caught on! I Please! I can't believe I was so mistaken. This no. is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you <laughs> run around out. in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Get me out it's of as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety <laughs> protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp no. the severity of the situation? I'm well, sorry. I don't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. What? Oh. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if I used like... incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. I like for choice. Example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. What the fuck? <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. Uh, if you find yourself speaking with a person who does fish. not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. I'm so Allow confused. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. What do you Turn mean? Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> oh. Practice. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals <laughs> recommend making at least eight on? choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially oh. insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise in to test exercise. and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, oh, shit, a test. I s fucking suck it. Ah, welcome back. What? You may Whoa. have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative it's, it's contradiction. <laughs> but not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago. And All see right. what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. The correct thing. The correct thing. What is the correct thing? Damn, they put fucking guardrails up. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, no! you can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Let Imagine me die! A character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Oh, we're going down. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I don't know, you seem to... Damn, they put up fucking the safety guards on my ass. I'm fucking... I'm just a... I'm just... Just a little... Little baby. I'm being treated like a fucking child. I'm treated like a damn child. I'm not going backwards. What the hell? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. If I go left, what do you mean? What do you mean left? I can only go one way. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. 
Mm -hmm. That means choosing okay. responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. I got fine. this. I got right. this. <clears throat> All right. Let's do when it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, now you're just fucking with me, guy. Ooh -wee. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn. Fuck you. No! Why did you do that? Oh. Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Everything's everything's damn falling apart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. It's like, bitch, I don't, give a, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck. I go wherever the hell I want. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll try this again. Redo, redo, redo. Just kidding. I don't give a damn about your story. I'm a real person. I'm a real boy. All right. I, 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 okay, 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 okay. No, okay. Ah, oh, okay. We'll go. We'll leave. All right. Is the story fixed? Did I fix it? No. Who's in there? All right. We're looking pretty good. Oh, it's ruined. Mm. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Oh, fuck. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about I'm sorry. seeing him undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth oh it. Oh my god, man's damn losing what am it. I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'm sorry. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? No, to please. To destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the just, answer? What do I do? What do I just do? Let, let me do I... let me take control. No, I have to. I have to shut the game no, down. No, please. I no. I no. No. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my fuck. Uh. Uh, boss. Mr. Man, I I think you've messed something up. What I'm happened? Here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you. I'm sorry. You, who thought you were so clever? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. Oh my god! What, I feel like a fucking asshole. You just had to see. I'm sorry. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He gave me he choice. He knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. I'm sorry, That's Dad. That hadn't please. even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Damn right, bitch. Oh. Fuck your story. story. Fuck your damn story. I do if whatever the hell I want. If you just through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... Oh, is this spoilers? It might behave be... exactly oh. as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm what? quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. He entered the door. Dude, you can't keep doing this to me. You can't. You can't keep giving me this choice. Because I don't give a fuck. It's my story, bitch. No. I don't give a Why damn. Why do that? Quickly, hurry back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck. Fuck your story. Fuck your damn story. I do whatever the hell I want. I got choice. I got free will, some mother. I've already committed. I've committed. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley oh. would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Your Just doors... follow my lead and you'll be fine. Your door's right. cracked. <clears throat> 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hey, guy. Uh... F fuck your story! I don't, I don't give a... I don't give a flying fuck! I don't care! I don't care anymore! No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back! ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly... Give me, always give me out of here! Story first. Give me out of this damn place! I'm sure will be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley all right, came to all right, all right, all right. two serious, open doors, serious. We're getting he serious. entered the door on his left. Okay. It, it can't keep going, right? How many times? Fuck you, st Damn it! Why do I keep doing this? Nothing's changed. I'm staring at the same fucking things. I can't help it. I can't help my damn... I love it. I love it. No! Why did all right, you I'm do gone, that? I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Go Fuck. Behave exactly as standing. All right, all right, all right, that means choosing all right, all right, all right, responsibly all right, all right. and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. I'm in a loop. <clears throat> I'm in a damn loop. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fuck. Okay. Fuck it. F I really want to, though. I really want to go in there. I really want to go in that fucking door. No, fuck it. Fuck it. We'll listen. We'll listen. Let's get your damn story. Get your damn story. What the hell? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I had a dispute with a co-worker. Wait, what? Take it out passively aggressive on other co-workers. Resent co-worker for not supporting you more. Okay. I'm, I'm going to my damn boss. Can't go, into, can't go in the broom closet. What the hell? Coming to a staircase, oh. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Well, there's only one way to go, and that's up. Let's 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 go. This bougie ass fucking boss office. Shit's looking nice. Shit's looking looking good. It's looking fucking spiffy, ma'am. Uh, I'm here to see Mr. 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 Oh, he's in. All right. Standing Us. inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. That's Shocked, what? unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief oh who goodness. orchestrated this Where's until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Ah, oh, the answers. I got sneeze. He knew the passcode. I'm gonna he had sneeze seen it on his boss's thing. computer just last week. Night Shark one one five. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but Dude, now do I even have he a would voice? draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Dude, he I... drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. What well, was the code? Shark one four five. Hello, Shark one one five. Hello. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't sure. mishear me, did you? I... Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. I'm trying. This is a I'm, crucial step. I'm trying. Night Shark 115, please. Please. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly <laughs> decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one I'm single sorry. thing for your Why respect. Why are you so mad the at me? Of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. I'm trying. Seriously. I'm trying to take a seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come I've, here? I had you no had other choice, way to you know. go. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could I have did. Done whatever the hell you I went out the door on the right why so many times. I went Speak. through the right. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you can't. I did it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <laughs> oh my God. he entered the door on his left. 
Stanley? Hello? Uh, uh, Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley face reveal. Stanley, I... I need you to make a choice. The end! I need you to walk through the door. No! Are you listening to me? Stanley! Me? I've been fucking kicked out of my damn body! Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. I the tried! Without you. I you tried understand? making decisions! Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Oh, God, he's so, he's so I'm sorry. I feel so bad. This poor man, this poor narrator. You never know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? I hear you. Are you there? I'm you here. I'm here. There? I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can wait. Oh. Time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. Oh I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. 